so I could take tough cuts of meat and make them eat like a filet mignon. Hi, I'm Nick Weber, chef and owner of Popular Modern Bistro, and today we'll be making koji roasted bone-in short rib. So here we have the beautiful prime short rib, bone-in. And the first thing we're gonna do is rub it with the koji. So we wanna get the koji on all parts of the short rib. It's gonna add a lot of umami to the dish and it's gonna tenderize this tough cut of meat. So we have a good amount of koji on the short rib and now we wanna hit it with salt and pepper. The reason we put so much koji on here is to give it, like I said, lots of umami and to break down that tough piece of meat. Really wanna make sure we season all parts of this before we get it in the oven. Now that we have the short rib marinated, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours to marinate and let that koji break down the muscle protein. Once it's been in the refrigerator for 24 hours, we're gonna put it in our roasting rack. We're gonna put that bone side down so the meat is sticking up. So now we're gonna pour water in there for humidity. Wrap it with aluminum foil. And we're gonna put it in a 200 degree oven for 10 hours. So now we have the short rib out of the oven. We're gonna take the foil off. We have the beautiful short rib, nice and tender. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear that so we get a nice caramelization on the meat and that koji sugars get nice and sweet on there. Basically, we just wanna get a little bit more browning on the meat so you really get that nice flavor. And we add a little bit more salt at this time too. And pepper. We're just going to keep turning it around. Let those fats render and get a little bit of crispy as well. So what's happening now is those sugars are caramelizing on the meat from the koji and then the fat is getting nice and crispy and rendering. You're going to have to hold it here at this point because the meat's going to want to fall. But again, we're just letting that sugars on that koji get nice and sweet and that fat getting a little bit of crispy. So as you can see now, that fat has gotten a little bit of crispy on it, a little crunch. I think this is a good spot right here. Nice and caramelized, sweetness of the koji. We're gonna pull that out now and put in our cutting board. So now we have the short rib out of the pan. We're gonna take it off the bone and slice it. So we're gonna come underneath the bone, get that connective tissue, and the bone should just slide right out like that, nice and tender. That's from that slow roasting and that koji really breaking down the muscle. I'm going to trim this little bit of fat off right here. And then we're going to slice our short rib. You can see the knife goes right through it, nice and tender. And we're going to put that right onto our plate, right over the bone. So now we have that beautiful koji roasted short rib ready to go. So what's fun about this dish is you kind of make your own little cabbage wraps with it. So you have the beautiful koji roasted short rib, and you can take these nice cabbage cups, put a piece of your short rib in there, whatever you like for garnish. I like cucumbers, some radishes, green onions, some fried shallots. So you just load up your plate with these short ribs. Put lots of that sauce on there. And you can garnish it with some nice flower, edible flowers. And there you have it, koji roasted short ribs with cabbage, cucumbers, radish, and soy sauce. For 
me, the benefits of Shio Koji are multiple, but what I enjoy about it the most is that it adds a natural umami to the proteins and it breaks down the protein and tenderizes it. So I can take tough cuts of meat and make them eat like a filet mignon.